What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning. Happy Thursday. The weekend is almost here. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to a lazy weekend. Maybe a little pool action. Maybe a little sun. Maybe a couple of cocktails. Who knows? 7.30 on a Thursday. I'm in a great mood. I jacked up my neck at softball on Tuesday. It's feeling, it's feeling a little bit better. Took a couple of muscle relaxes. Put some uh, some biofreeze on it. Still, still, I did something. The muscle. I don't know. What can you say? I guess I'm getting old, people. Anyways, listen, this video is going to be about one thing and one thing only. We are about to talk about a massive, massive announcement that is about to go down. And yes, it involves RippleNet. Yes, it involves on-demand liquidity. Yes, you are going to be blown out of your seat. Cue the image of when Brad Gollinghouse heard Anthony Papiano say that. No, China does not control Bitcoin, and Brad was blown away with big eyes in his chair. You know the gif I'm talking about. We need to cue it right now. I don't have it to show you, but just picture it in your head as I go through this. All right, as always, make sure you give us a follow on Twitter, XRP News underscore like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Let's get into the market. Total market cap, $1.3 trillion. A couple more dollars came into the market. Nothing big. Listen, we've been in this range. You're not going to get me excited until we get up to that $2 trillion mark. You're not going to get me excited until Bitcoin breaks $42,000. 57 cent XRP just doesn't do it for me. A $31,815 Bitcoin doesn't do it for me. We just seen a massive crash. This might be a little head fake. They might be trying to say, hey, guess what? It's over. That was the bottom. We're going back up. I don't think so. I am not convinced we are anywhere out of this. I still think we're going to revisit the 20s for Bitcoin, which means the rest of the market is going to suffer. The, the total Bitcoin dominance is sitting at 45%. You probably hear my dog crying in the background. He's pacing back and forth. I don't know what he wants. But let's just get into this news, people. This is absolutely massive. It all started on April 9th. And I'm going to try to work my way forward. In the most chronological order that I can. So April 9th, Trangelo puts out a tweet. We are building a network on a network with Ripple. It's going to change the cross-border payments forever. So since April, we've been sitting here thinking, like, what is going on with Trangelo? You can't put out a tweet like this and not give us any insight, give us any input of what's going on here. It was like a little teaser, a little sneak peek, one might say. So we got that on April 9th. And then we fast forward all the way until last night. Trangelo puts out another tweet. We're working on something exciting that is going to transform payments and fintech. Stay tuned. Hashtag RippleNet. Hashtag blockchain. Hashtag crypto. Something's brewing, people. Something is brewing. I want to go over Trangelo with you right now. I want to give you a little insight of what's about to be announced. And yes, it's going to include on-demand liquidity. Yes, there are some massive companies that are going to be involved in this. And yes, you are about to be blown away. Let's go. Trangelo, June 15th. While most of the USD 10 billion of remittances to Indonesia were made on existing payment rails, talking about good old SWIFT, growing acceptance of digital currency and an influx of global, global firms like Ripple are changing the payments landscape forever. That is right. We know what Ripple has been doing in the background. They've been building up. They've been knocking down these old rails. They've been building up the new rails. Trangelo is going to get a new rail going. And this rail is going to be one massive rail. We head over to Trangelo's website. Dead center of their website. Transforming global payments. We simplify growth. We simplify cross-border payments so you can focus on keeping your customers happy. Transform your foreign remittances, business, and mobile payments today. And as we scroll down, what else do we see? Why Trangelo? Secure and receive money on a ascend and receive money. Excuse me, on a secure platform. It's a trusted network. Listen to this. Twenty-one currencies, thirteen hundred payout partners in hundred and twenty-eight countries. Remember that. Intuitive portal API of flexible contracts for any business. And world-class security. Says the U.S. 8.82 billion with a B people was processed worldwide as of April 30th, 2021. Just four months ago, those numbers were updated. 
We're almost looking at 10 billion people from Trangelo. Move money however you want. Trangelo Connect. It's a money service business that can connect customers with more countries and let them send money home quickly. Trangelo Business. It's a platform for corporates to send and receive cross border payments. And then Trangelo Recharge. International airtime top up mobile recharge and bill payment solutions. Then they talk about the UAE the, with the border there and then Singtel. But as we scroll down and we head over to the next page, which is their blog. Who remembers this? April 9th. Trangelo levels up with Ripple to power cross-border payments in Southeast Asia. Yeah, Ripple purchased 40% of Trangelo. Why do you think Ripple purchased 40% of Trangelo? Could it have anything to do with the massive reach that they have? 21 currencies in 128 different countries. Think about how much bigger Ripple just got by purchasing 40% here. Let's have a quick read of this article. It says, picture this, a super highway that goes everywhere without geographical and physical limitations. On this highway, cars move without crashing into each other, and it's at lightning speed. Does it sound familiar? Does it sound like the XRP ledger? I believe we've heard this analogy before about a super highway. Correct me if I'm wrong. The best part, the negligible toll charges that would undoubtedly set off a ripple of excitement. A dream scenario. Not in the cross-border payments industry. If you haven't heard, U.S. fintech giant Ripple recently announced that it agreed to acquire a 40% stake in Trangelo. Thanks to Ripple's global connectivity and our in-depth knowledge of the APEC and Southeast Asian corridors, the world's another step closer to the payments superhighway. What have I been stating on this channel for quite some time? It's going to start on the other side of the world. And this Trangelo partnership, and between this and SBI, and what they have going on in Thailand and Singapore, is about to change the landscape forever. According to Ripple, Southeast Asia is the, is the fastest growing region of the adoption of RippleNet, the firm's equivalent of Trangelo Connect, driving global payments with a single access point. Ripple's commitment to this end is reflected in its appointment of seasoned financial and tech leaders, Brooks and Wise, to lead and scale the company's operation in this region. So we know Ripple acquired 40% of Trangelo. We know Trangelo is already using on-demand liquidity. We know they need 128 different currencies to be paid out. What is the one asset that can bridge all of these assets together, all these currencies together? Yes, it is XRP, but I'm not done, people. I want you to look at Trangelo's partners. Over 1,300 banks. What is the first one that you see? Alipay. You know how big Alipay is? What's the last one you see? WeChat Pay. Instagram's in there. An unknown on-demand liquidity partner. TransferWise. Maxis. Sentby. Another RippleNet partner. Alipay and WeChat Pay are two massive, massive payment companies. I mean, we are talking game-changing type payment companies. But this doesn't finish just yet. Because as we dig a little bit closer, and we pull up this article from you today, Ripple client Trangelo is going to power payments between Australia, China, and Southeast Asia. Did Ripple just get another way to head into China? They already had American Express. Did they just get another way with Trangelo? Because Trangelo partnered with this company called Amipay. It says in a tweet from May 3rd of this year, our latest partner Amipay Australia will now be able to provide easy international payments from Australia to the Southeast Asian corridors and beyond. It says Trangelo, which received investments from Ripple in late March of this year, is now preparing to launch transactional payments and remittances from Australia to China, Vietnam, in collaboration with OmniPay. Do you see what's going on here? Ripple is Ripple. I shouldn't say Ripple, the company. I'll be more specific. RippleNet and on-demand liquidity is about to power 
Australia, China, Vietnam, Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Australia, Japan. The article goes on to say the company, Cogwell Trangelo, now uses on demand liquidity service for XRP based transactional payments. Trangelo has now partnered with Australian based OmniPay firm to help set up payments corridors to China and the southeast part of Asia using its Trangelo Connect solution, which Trangelo Connect is going to be using on demand liquidity. There's a reason Ripple purchased 40% of Trangelo. Wake up. The writing is on the wall. Do you think Ripple bought 40% of them just so they can run on Swift's corridors or just so they can run like they're running now and not leverage a digital asset? Trangelo just tagged blockchain and cryptocurrencies in their latest post. You can't have a blockchain without having a crypto. What do you think Ripple's going to use here for them to bridge these payments into these 21 or into these 100 plus different countries and these 21 different currencies? Do you think Bitcoin is going to be that medium of exchange? Of course not. It's going to be XRP. It says Trangelo helped Omnipay set up a payment corridor to China, Vietnam, the Philippines, and Indonesia. In addition, the two companies are collaborating to make cross border payments more affordable and accessible in Australia. How do you make something more affordable? You make it cheaper. You make it faster. You offer a better service that people can afford to use. And that's going to be all bridged by the superhighway itself, the XRP Ledger. And this is Trangelo will be using various payment methods for this, including e-wallets. As for OmniPay, this payment operation operator has already integrated such payment options as Visa, Alipay, WeChat Pay, and MasterCard. Trangelo operates more than 100 countries with offices in London to buy in a few other major locations. Why did Visa buy Earthport? Do you see the connector here? RippleNet. Alipay, WeChat Pay, MasterCard Pay, they're all in the game and they are all now going to be connected through RippleNet. Folks, all you have to do is hold. Let this get built out. We are that close to Trangelo going live. It all started. April 9th, and it led up, led us till yesterday. When I just told you, look at the GIF, XRP is right in the middle. It's loading. Look how fast it is. Trangelo's about to change the game forever. And you know what's going to have to happen once they change the game forever and they start lowering their fees and tell the customers how quick the money's getting in and out? These rest of these companies are going to have to get on board. It's that simple. Survival of the fittest. And if you're not on XRPL, you ain't not surviving, people. You see 75% of the U.S. banks are going to leave SWIFT and correspondent banking because you can't hold money anymore in these other countries, especially small corridors. It's not worth it. You got to free up that capital. You need to put it to work. This is huge. It's coming. This announcement is going to blow you away. It is coming very soon. Told you we are going to have dynamites. We're going to have fireworks the second half of this year. And the hardest part for you is holding. Think about that for a second. That's going to do it for me, everyone. Listen, wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.